We out. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give our praise to you. Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rechak Wadash. Yahweh Honor, so that was Apostle Great Millstone. We taught the truth and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutation. I come out there, scatter broad to the four corners of the earth, transcending the truth and not truth and sincerity. To I say Shalom. 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 Yishar. And we're coming to you with another video in the spirit. And uh, we're going to go into basically how the mirth in this place is, is gone, okay? And what sparked me to do this video was uh, recently, uh, me and a couple of brothers, you know, we, you know, we went, we went out, uh, went out of state, and we visited, uh, visited the state of Las Vegas, and got the uh, fellowship with the with the brothers there in Vegas. But you know, uh, me and a brother, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, uh, we did kind of like the similar similar trip, you know, and comparing that time to this time you could see that the lord is calling the mirth in this place to really uh, to, to go down because last last time you know it, it was cool or whatever but this time it wasn't it wasn't hitting the same but you it, the, i'm just using that example you can see that going on all throughout the world and everywhere even here in our home state in michigan okay throughout the years since the pandemic happened throughout the years you can see that the mirth in this place is is, is uh slowly decreasing it's gonna eventually come to a point where it's not gonna be no mirth in this place at all. Mm. It ain't gonna be nothing but uh, complete, complete darkness and evil going on. Uh, if you can get Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter. Twelfth chapter. Yeah. Okay. Starting where? Uh, first verse. Okay. Yeah, because the mirth, um, you know, it goes into that. Um, yeah, just read it, bro. You got it. This is Ecclesiastes twelve and one. It says, "Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth." Mm-hmm. While the evil days come not, nor the year. Right, what's the evil day? The evil day is famine, uh, uh, different pestilences. Because w when all hell break loose, you got to think about there will be no medications. There will be no, no pharmaceuticals that you can use to, to help, you know, anything like ailments, you know, or diseases or anything. So when, when people are dying from famine, you got to think about those bodies are just going to be laying there. Right, and and and, and uh, when bodies decay, they release certain toxins. People are gonna get sick from those type. Of, it, we don't know what's gonna happen, man. So it says, um, read it again. It says, "Remember now, the Creator in the days of thy youth, mm -hmm. while the evil days come not. While the evil days come not, because there's nothing but evil coming to this place, bro. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. it. Says, nor the years draw nigh." When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Mm -hmm. You want to speak on it? Oh, you got it, man. Yeah, no pleasure in this place, man. Because right now, you got motherfuckers still riding them unicycles. Mm -hmm. Screaming at the top of their lungs. Thinking that, that, that oh, summer's right around the corner. Yeah, I mean, yeah. ah, I'm happy. Right? They have pleasure in this place still. But the Lord is stripping the pleasure away. Right. Slowly but surely. He, he He's taking away all your little habits. All your little knickknacks. You see? And sooner or later, you will have nothing. And then it's, that's why it says, remember now thy creator. In the days of thy youth. While things are still going on, while music is still, you know what I'm saying, playing. And, and people are laughing and giggling. Before the evil day. Go ahead. Just a little bit more. Uh, it says, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble mm -hmm. and the strong males shall bow themselves mm -hmm. and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened right grinding cease no more jobs you see uh people looking out the windows and it be dark and when you look out the windows you're supposed to see a future you're supposed to see what's coming next but it says what it's going to be darkened so what that means is there's no future in this place. You got it, bro. I'll right, continue. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. You can get your precepts. This is um, Ecclesiastes 7 and uh, 2. It says, It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting. Mm -hmm. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. This says it is better to go into the house of mourning than 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 the house of feasting. Why? 
Because when you're mourning, uh, scriptures say, first of all, scriptures say, uh, when you abase yourself, you shall be exalted. Mm -hmm. So when you're in a, in, a, in a state of mourning, the next thing after that is rejoicing. Yeah. So, but if you're already rejoicing, if you're already laughing it up, drinking, then the, the, the next thing for you is mourning. So we have to be, we, we have, that's why we have to separate ourselves from this place. Time. You got it. It says, sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the continents, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, and that's us. Okay, we're we're in the we're in the house of mourning. We're not in the uh, we're not in the spirit of of trying to be out here living it up and trying to live our best lives. You know, in that yellow spirit, you only live once and trying to do everything on this side. We understand that this place is not forever. We understand that this place has an expiration date. Mm -hmm. So we're we're having that understanding. Where are we doing? The scripture says, "Store your treasures up in heaven," and that's what we're doing. We're we're uh, making ourselves busy being being in His work. Okay, trying to make sure that we're pleasing the Lord. You know, doing his will. Okay, so that's that's the mindset that we're in. We're not in the mindset the rest of the rest of these people. That's why the scriptures say, uh, "Rise and depart." Uh, Micah two and ten. Mm -hmm. Arise and depart from this place. And I don't mean physically. Uh, I mean mentally. Uh, uh, flee out of this place. You know, free your mind from this place because we can't we can't free our bodies not yet. We have to wait on your house shy to come do that when he returns and the chariots come save us. To for us to physically out of here, but right now you have to mentally free your free yourself from this place. Yeah, that's what it says in Romans twelve chapter, verse two. It says, yeah. uh, "Be not conformed to this God. world." Right? When you conform to this world, you start to uh, walk in the image of the beast. And that's what a lot of these people are doing. They're walking in the image of the beast, right? Uh, uh, they worship this system, but we worship the image of Yahweh Shai, which is what Heavenly Father. Lord willing, you know, we be of the elect, but uh, we keep the commandments to the best of our ability. And, uh, you know, we, we do what the Lord told us to do, man. We His commandments. Love thy brother as thyself. You see? And love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, and soul, and body. You got it? Uh, I'm going to grab another precept. This is um, Isaiah 24 and 10. It says, The city of confusion is breaking down. Every house is shut up, that no man may come, that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. Mm -hmm. All joy is darkened. That wine is understanding, right? Because that's what the truth is likened unto is likened unto wine. Mm -hmm. So people are going to be crying for understanding. They're going to be crying for some type. Of, What's going on? What happened? Where them prophets at? Yeah. Where them men out on the streets? Tell us what we got to do next. You got it. It says all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Mm-hmm. Mirth of the land is gone. You want to talk about it? No, you got it, bro. Mirth of the land is gone, right? No more uh, uh, hot girl summer, right? No more uh, passport bros, because, hey, them niggas going to get murked too, right? Ultimately, bro, the Lord is about to shut this shit down. You got it. It says, in the city is left desolation, and the gate is many with destruction. You got it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, can you grab Amos 5 and 18? Because yep. the day of the Lord is coming, man. Y'all about shimmy y'all shy is um, about to shut this place down, right? And that's what we're waiting on, right? But you got Christians out there, you know, well, well, we can't wait for the day of the Lord. But we, yeah, ye, ye know, uh, ye worship what ye not know. I'm paraphrasing it. Right, but we know what we worship. We worship the Heavenly Father in mm -hmm. truth and sincerity. You got it. This is Amos 5 and 18. It says, Once you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it for you? Mm -hmm. The day of the Lord is darkness, is not light. Yeah, so you got people that desiring that day, but they don't understand what that day is going to be uh, filled with. That day is going to be filled with uh, destruction. Okay, complete destruction. That's The day of the Lord is not a, it's not a day that you should be seeking. Okay, because it's, we should, we, we, yeah, for yeah. us, yeah, for us, no people because, in the you know, world. that's our salvation, but not the people mm -hmm. in the world. Now, the people in the world, that's a, that's a day of your demise, okay, and they don't understand that. Mm -hmm. That's why it says it is dark, it's not light, it's not light because they think that they, they, you got still people that, that still calling on the name Jesus, they still think that it's a white man coming all peacefully, you know, to come save everybody, but that, that's not what the scriptures say, yep. 
this uh, I'm continuing to read. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. So you're going to continue to run into trouble after trouble. You're going to flee from run trouble. The Lord going to have you run into something else. You're going to flee from that one. You're going to run into something else. It's going to be constant hell on your ass. 24-7. <laughs> it says, Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Mm -hmm. You know why? Because everybody's on their pedestal right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody is, is high and mighty, proud. Why is earth and ashes proud? God. Right? Y'all motherfuckers living it up. That, hey, the Lord is hey, he's about to be a complete uh, flip. Surely you're turning of upside things up. Uh, turning your thing. <laughs> Surely, Surely your turning of things upside, upside down, down shall be esteemed as a pottery clay. God. You see? So all this shit is about to uh, uh, take a big flip. You know? The Lord, a hey, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, because if it was not for the Lord, we would be through. Yeah, we'd be we through. We'd be stuck here, man. Yeah, we'd be stuck. And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai for having a, a remnant, you know, mm -hmm. for having the elect. Because it was up to, <laughs> if it was up to some of you, Jake, out here, man, we would never get out of this place. We never what, going. You want to stay here, mm -hmm. okay? You, you, Jake, would stay into that that house of feasting mentality forever, okay? Y'all will find a way to to, to live it up. And no matter, like the Lord can. The Lord can make a lot of shit disappear, and Jake will still try to find a way to, to be on that uh, YOLO type of mindset. You only live once, so trying to live it up every live up every day like it's day last. Uh, verse 21 says, I hate, I despise your feast days. I will not smell in your solemn assembly. Uh, you can speak my brother. Mm -hmm, yeah, I hate your feast days. Them feast days as well, all these different holidays, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, uh, uh, Memorial Day. Christmas, right? Because they eat on Christmas too. Yeah. But yeah, the Lord, the Lord, not dealing with all these holidays. You know, Memorial Day is right around the corner. Yeah. This Monday. Um, but ultimately, the Lord's not dealing with this place, man. Heavenly Father said that what he 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 has a um. Uh, can you get uh, Isaiah thirty four? Baba Kasha, Isaiah thirty four. Starting. Uh, verse start of five. Uh, this is Isaiah 34 Might be and 5. Six. It says, For my sword shall be there bathed in heaven. Mm -hmm. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Right. It's going to come down upon you fucking Edomites, man. Yeah. You see? Because you set this society up. You set this place up. Modern day Basra. Go ahead. It says, and, uh, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Upon the people of my curse to judgment. That curse is, is that mark that Cain received in the book of Genesis, right? He 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 uh he was stripped of his melanin. So that whenever somebody see him, they can know, oh, yeah, that's Cain. That's the damn devil. Well they didn't know he was a devil at the time, but ultimately they knew he was fucking weird. Yeah, they knew something was off. Yeah. Like, why is this nigga why he look like that? So what he has that mark of of of, of destruction. Right? That indignation. So it's gonna come upon a do idumia. You know, this place is, is is ripe for the picking. But ultimately, yeah, man, that Murph is gonna is gonna be wiped away, man. So all these all these these people can live it up now. But um, as they say in the world, we will have the last laugh. Gone. <laughs> we gonna have the last laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna grab this last scripture and we can close, brother. Okay. It says Tobit two and six. It says, "Remember that prophecy of Amos, as he said, your feet shall be turned into mourning." And now you're marked into lamentation. So, hey, man, that's pretty much it. You know, the Lord is going to gonna shut all this shit down when it's all said and done, okay, in his time. Okay, when when when, when the Lord finally snap his fingers and give Yahweh Shai and give the angels to go ahead to start to shut this shit down, it's going to happen, okay? So if you're not taking this time to, to get it together, to get yourself together, but you want to still stay in that uh, party and BS mentality, and you gonna get it's gonna catch up with you and you're gonna get taken by it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh Lord when this video is edifying. I'm gonna close out by giving our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakadash. Shalom. Shalom.